Hello friends, welcome to my kitchen. First, let's take six peeled potatoes and place them in a pan. Fill the pan with water, just enough to cover the potatoes. And add a pinch of salt. Give it a little stir. Turn on the heat to medium high and leave the potatoes to cook for about 30 minutes. Then cover the pan with a lid. While the potatoes are cooking, take a frying pan and pour in a bit of olive oil, just enough to coat the bottom. Now, finely chop one onion. Friends, please write in the comments what country and city are you from. It's very nice to know that we can communicate all over the world. Add it to the pan. Cook it over medium heat until it becomes soft and slightly golden. Next, finely chop one carrot. If you have any questions about the recipe, Write to me, and I will answer as soon as I see it in the comments. Add it to the frying pan with the onions. Stir them together, letting the flavors combine. Now, grate two cloves of garlic using a mini grater. Friends, I'd be happy if you could give this video a like as it's the best reward from you. Add them to the pan, stir gently, and let that wonderful aroma fill your kitchen. Now, take one red bell pepper and chop it finely. Friends, if you enjoy my content, subscribe to the channel to receive notifications about new similar recipes. Add it to the frying pan. Stir everything together so the bell pepper blends well with the other vegetables. Finally, chop six to eight mushrooms into small pieces.
and also add them to the frying pan. Stir everything together and let it cook for about 5 minutes, allowing all the vegetables to soften. Next, add 3 tablespoons of tomato paste to the pan. This will give our dish a nice, rich flavor. Stir the paste into the vegetables until it's evenly distributed. Then, add 3 tablespoons of flour and stir it well. This step is important to avoid any lumps and to thicken our stew later. Next, cut one pack of bacon into small strips. Add it to another small frying pan. Place it on medium heat and fry for about 5 to 10 minutes until it turns crispy and golden. The bacon will add a lovely smoky flavor to our dish. Once it's done, Remove it from the heat and add the bacon to the pan with the vegetables. Give everything a good stir so the flavors start to blend together. Now it's time to cook the beef. Take one pound or about 900 grams of beef and cut it into small cubes around bite-sized pieces. Pour a bit of olive oil into a large frying pan and heat it up. Once the oil is hot, add the beef cubes in a single layer. Fry the beef until it's browned on all sides. This will take about 8 to 10 minutes. Make sure you don't overcrowd the pan, as we want each piece to cook nicely. When the beef is beautifully browned, season it with one teaspoon of salt. 
one teaspoon of black pepper, and one teaspoon of paprika. Give it a good stir to make sure all the pieces are coated with the spices. Once done, remove the beef from the heat and add it to the pan with the vegetables and bacon. Mix everything together so all the flavors are well combined. Now comes the delicious part, creating that rich, savory sauce. Pour two cups or 500 milliliters of red wine into the pan with the beef and vegetables. Then add one cup or 250 milliliters of water. Give everything a gentle stir to combine and bring the mixture to a gentle simmer. Lower the heat, cover the pan with a lid and let it cook for about 40 minutes. While our stew is simmering, let's finish up the mashed potatoes. By now, the potatoes should be ready. If they're soft and easy to cut through, they're done. Drain the water from the pan. Now add half a stick of butter or about 60 grams. Pour in about 100 milliliters of milk and start mashing the potatoes with a masher or a fork until they're smooth and creamy. If you prefer your mashed potatoes a bit fluffier, feel free to add a bit more milk. Next, finely chop a bunch of green onions. This will add a lovely touch of freshness and flavor. Mix everything together thoroughly so the green onions are evenly distributed throughout the potatoes. Take a bunch of fresh parsley and chop it finely. parsley to the stew. The parsley will add a touch of color and a burst of freshness to the dish. And give it one last stir. By now, your beef should be tender and the sauce should have thickened up nicely. Now it's time to bring everything together. Take a plate and spoon a generous serving of the mashed potatoes right in the center. Use the back of the spoon to create a little well. In the middle, this is where our delicious beef stew will sit. Next, carefully spoon the beef and vegetable mixture into the well you've created in the mashed potatoes. Make sure you get a bit of everything, some beef, some of that rich sauce, and a few vegetables in each spoonful. And there you have it. A wonderful, hearty beef stew with mashed potatoes, perfect for a cozy family dinner. And don't forget to leave a comment. I'd love to hear how this turned out for you, but that is not all. I have a second equally delicious recipe for you. Take a medium-sized saucepan and fill it with water. Next, take five medium potatoes. Place the potatoes in the water. Cover the saucepan with a lid and bring it to a boil over medium heat. Once the water starts boiling, add one teaspoon of salt. Let the potatoes cook for about 30 minutes. They should become tender and easy to mash. While the potatoes are cooking, heat a large frying pan over medium heat and add a drizzle of olive oil. Once 
once the oil is hot, add 16 ounces or 450 grams of ground beef. As the beef starts to cook, break it up with a spatula so it cooks evenly and forms small crumbled pieces. Now, while the beef is browning, let's prepare the vegetables. Take one white onion, and finely chop it. Place the onion in a bowl. Then take two cloves of garlic. Grate them finely using a mini grater. Friends, I'd be happy if you could give this video a like as it's the best reward from you. Also add them to the bowl. Next, chop one carrot into small cubes. Friends, if you enjoy my content, subscribe to the channel to receive notifications about new similar recipes. Do the same with two celery stalks.
then add one cup of green peas. Once all the vegetables are chopped and in the bowl, give them a quick mix. By now, your ground beef should be nicely browned and cooked through. Add the mixed vegetables to the pan with the beef. Sprinkle in one teaspoon of salt. And stir everything together, ensuring new vegetables and beef are well combined. Now add three tablespoons of tomato sauce. One teaspoon of black pepper. Finely chop a small sprig of thyme. Also add it into the pan. Next, sprinkle three tablespoons of flour over the mixture. This helps thicken the sauce as it cooks. Pour in one cup or 200 milliliters of beef broth. Stir well. Then reduce the heat to medium. Cover the pan and let it simmer for about 10 minutes until the sauce has reduced by half and the vegetables are tender. The filling should be thick and hearty. Chop one bunch of parsley finely. Add it to the pan, stirring it in at the very end for a fresh burst of flavor. After 30 minutes, check your potatoes. They should be soft and a knife should slide in smoothly. Remove the saucepan from the heat and drain the water. Add two ounces or 60 grams of butter to the potatoes and mash them until they're smooth and creamy. Then add four fluid ounces or 120 milliliters of cream. Mash again until the potatoes are rich and fluffy. To give our mashed potatoes an extra touch of flavor, grate four ounces or 120 grams of cheddar cheese.
mix it into the potatoes. Finally, add two eggs and mix thoroughly to create a smooth, creamy mashed potato topping. Now that we have our filling and potatoes ready, it's time to assemble the shepherd's pie. Take a baking dish and spoon the beef and vegetable mixture into the bottom. Press it down gently with a spatula and smooth it out to create an even layer. Next, spoon the mashed potatoes over the top of the meat and vegetables. Spread the potatoes out evenly. And use a fork to create a nice textured pattern on the surface as shown in the video. To finish, grate 1 ounce or 30 grams of Parmesan cheese. And sprinkle it lightly over the top of the mashed potatoes. This will create a beautiful golden crust when baked. Place the assembled shepherd's pie in a preheated oven at 360 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius. Let it bake for 25 minutes until the top is golden brown and the filling is bubbling up around the edges. And there you have it, a comforting, hearty shepherd's pie that's sure to please everyone at the table. Carefully remove the dish from the oven and let it cool for a few minutes before serving. The rich, savory filling combined with the creamy mashed potato topping is simply irresistible. I hope this recipe brings warmth and joy to your family's dinner table. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and let me know how it turned out for you in the comments below. I always love hearing from you. Until next time, happy cooking and take care.